Okay, guys, today we're going to be learning how to use the standard algorithm. So, let's so start off with 374 minus 283. How we're going to do that with the standard algorithm is we're going to rewrite break the problem in an algorithm form, like this. 374 minus 283. And to make sure when you're doing the standard algorithm, make sure you're lining up the ones place, tens place, hundreds place, and if you have a thousands place, line that up too. In this case, we don't. And then you go off like regular subtraction. 3 minus 4 is, try and solve that, 1. And then you have to minus 8 from 7. Said so you can't do that. You have to always minus from the bottom, from the top. Since that, since we don't have enough, we're going to borrow by crossing that off. And that's now going to become a 2. And that's going to become 17. And that will be 9. So we'll put 9 down. And now we're going to subtract 2 from 2, which is 0. But really, you don't really need to put the zero. So then your answer would be 91 for that problem. Now let's try that strategy with some other problems. For instance, let's try it with an addition problem. 887 plus 234. How do you think we would rewrite that? Pause the video and write it down on a piece of paper or get it in your head how you think you should write that. Now, hopefully, if you have your answer, we should rewrite, be rewriting it by putting 887 plus 234 for the line. And another thing, you always put the bigger number on top like we did here. Eight, 887 is bigger than 234. So by putting 887 on the top, it will be easier for us. If you put the lower number on top, it might get a little difficult if it's subtraction or multiplication, but we're not getting into the big spiel right now. So now we're just going to add 7 plus 4, which is 11. And now we have to carry. So since 11 is... 11, two digits, we're going to take one digit, one, one, put that there. The other one, a little smaller, up top there. And now, what we're going to do, since that's an 8, that's ten, like a plus 1. So 8 plus 1. So we're going to do 8 plus 3. And that's 11. And then you remember, you have to plus that 1, which will bring you 12. So you'll put the 2 here. And same with the, same as the 11, there's two digits. So the 2 goes down here. And then you have to bring up the 1 again. And then you're going to add 8 plus 2, which is 10. And then remember to add that 1, which is will bring 11 again. So then you put 11, since there are no more digits... You can just put the 11 down there. And then that will give us 11,121. And if you did not get something like that, I know you didn't have to try it. But if you didn't get something like that, maybe go back over it and make sure you're adding these two. And you're carrying. If you didn't get that one right. Yeah, now let's try another subtraction problem so then we can get more fluent with subtraction. So, for, let's do 1,283. Okay? Then I'm going to subtract 324. Remember to always have that line just to make it neat and line them up. Since we have a, th a 1,000 here, if you really, really want to, you can always put a zero there, but we're not going to do that because that might mess you up. That might 
You might think it's a whole different number, but so now I'm going to continue with the problem. Four, f three minus four actually, not four minus three. And you can't do that, so you cross that off, and you always do the next number to the left. And that will become seven because you're minusing one from eight, and you're adding one digit to the th three. So now it's going to be 13 minus 4, which will give you 11. So you're going to put your 1 here, and like an addition, you're going to carry that 1 over the 8, which will bring it back to an 8. So now you're going to minus 2 from 8, which will give you 6. And then, now you're going to minus 3 from 2. Pause the video and try and solve the rest of this problem on your own. If you have trouble or you think you can't do it, just continue watching this video. I'm going to do a lot more practice problems, okay? So don't worry if you don't know how to do it yet. So I think I gave you a little while. I gave you a little time in there, and then you can apply for as long as you need it. But now we're going to finish the problem. Now we have to minus 3 from 2, which you can't do. So you're going to cross your 1 out, and that's going to become a 0. And then you're going to put a 1 next to the 12, and that's going to become a 12. Now minus 3 from 12, which will give you 9. And then since you have no, you have a 0 there, you don't have to worry about that. So then you should have got 961 as your answer. And now uh, we're going to try some subtraction problems. This problem is sort of going to be on the hard side because of subtraction. And using big numbers like this might be a little hard. So let's try one. We're going to do 4,374 minus 3,150. Seven. Got that? So now, if you want to pause here and try it on yourself, go for it. If you want to keep watching? Keep watching. It's up to you. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. I'll give you some time with it and everything. So if you need to see the problem, here it is. I'll give you uh, like 10 seconds or so. And then if you need more time, just pause the video. Okay, that should have been about 10 seconds. So now we're going to do 7 minus 4. Actually, I just messed up. You're going to want to do 4 minus 7. So, guess what we do next? Borrow, maybe? Uh, it will be, we're going to borrow... From 7, get 6, carry the 1, 14, have 14, 7, so then you'll get 7 again. And then we have to minus 5 from 6, 1. Now we have to minus 1 from 3, 2. Minus 3 from 4, 1. Give you 1,217. And then like... Say this was a word problem or something, and you wanted to figure out how many dollars, like say Gio had $4,374, and he just spent $3,157 on a new gaming console. How much money does he have left? You would put a money sign after that, if you're, it's a word problem. We're going to try some addition and subtraction word problems. And then I'm going to give you a whole bunch of practice problems just the one time. Or try and figure them out. And then we're going to figure them out together. And that'll be it. Okay. For our first word problem. We're going to do this one. Kyle has $35,734. He got $37,145 
for his birthday and Christmas. How much money does he have left? Well, to look at this, we're going to probably try and find and highlight our key numbers. And that would be $35,734 and $37,143. But be careful. Don't let any of the other words throw you off. See, like, because he got had it, he had that, and then he got for his birthday and Christmas. Those don't matter. It's just what the numbers are, are what matter in this situation. So, since we're now we have our numbers, let me, I'm going to take this board down, and I'll come back when I have a clean board. I have my written down already, so I will know the problem if I need to refer to it, but you probably won't need to refer to the problem unless you're having trouble remembering the numbers or it's a very hard problem for you. So now I've inserted our numbers, $35,734 and $37,143 into the algorithm form. And pause this video. What do you think we do? Should we add or subtract? What do you think? Pause the video and try and figure out what it is. You can always rewind the video to see what the problem was. And just to help you, I'll put it up right here. Kyle had $35,734. He got $37,143. For his birthday and Christmas, how much money does he have left? So try and figure that out and then come back to this video. So now that you've probably figured it out, I'm going to reveal the answer. Since it said he had 35,734 and he got 37,143 and it's asking how much does he have now, so what you would do is add. And sorry, I miswrote actually the word problem. It's how much money does he have now? Not left, it's now. Sorry about that. But. Now that we figured that out, let's solve the problem. So now I'm going to add the addition sign, since we've set up that addition. And now we're going to add 3 and 4. What does that give you? 7, right? 4 plus 3 is 7. And then 4 plus 3 again is 7. 1 plus 7 is 8. And now you're going to put your comma now, or you don't have to put that comma. But if you do now, it'll maybe like bring it down. That's like how I think of it. But I normally don't do that yet. I normally do 7 plus 5 and 3 plus 3 first. Before I add the comma to get my final product or my sum. So now I'm going to add 5 plus 7. Which will give you 12, and your 2, you have to carry your 1 up top there. Now, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus your 1 is 7. So that would be $72,877. And I didn't show you the second part, but there's a second part to the this problem. I'll put point. it up in a second. Okay, let's try. So here is part. Two. Sorry if you can't see my face that much, but here's this. He wants a gaming PC, Nintendo Switch, and an Xbox One. 
the gaming PC is thirty three thousand five hundred. The Nintendo Switch is fifty three thousand four hundred eighty seven. The Xbox Series One is twenty seven thousand three hundred seventy one. The tax for the gaming PC is ten dollars. Tax for the Nintendo Switch is eight dollars and fifty seven cents. Tax for the Xbox One is seven dollars and thirty cents. And it gave us the before, like the sub price or the subtotal, thirty three dollars five hundred. That's before tax. Fifty three thousand four hundred eighty seven before tax. Twenty seven thousand three hundred seventy one before tax. And then it's asking of what are the prices and how many of each thing could he possibly get? Or could he only get like two game PCs? And remember our total was seventy two thousand eight hundred and seventy seven dollars he has to spend. And I wasn't able to fit this on the board, but he wants to save five thousand dollars. So then he could redo his bedroom. Because currently it's very small and he wants a bigger room, new paint on his walls, all new stuff. He wants to save the dog. He wants to save $5,000 from that. So remembering that he has to leave $5,000 off, then. What I would do, so then I know how much money I have to spend, I would take 5000 away from 72877 so I know the exact amount. I know you probably don't need to do the algorithm for this, but let's just do it anyway, so then it's most exact. And minus 0 from 7, 7. Minus 0 from 7, 7. Minus 0 from 8, 8. With the bell thing. Minus 5 from 2, cross out the 7, give you a 6, carry the 1, that's a 12, that would be 7, 67,877 is what you'll get. So that's how much he has to spend. Just from my estimate, I think if he really wants a gaming PC, I don't know if this is true. You might want to check yourself. You can get two gaming PCs for roughly around like $66,000. Roughly, and he has 67000 to spend still. But again, that's his without tax. So with adding tax and everything, that's at least another twenty dollars in there. So if you want to try and figure some of this out on your own, I'm gonna start doing the work up here. And yeah, if you need help, I'll put some help links in the description. So more videos, not by me though. Maybe you can they will explain it better to you. So I'm gonna start writing board, you can get to work. And I'll come back when I'm done. And he only wants to get one. Like, he wants to get two gaming PCs. I thought, I'm sorry I didn't tell you that. But he only wants to get, like, two gaming PCs. He doesn't want to get, like, two gaming PCs, an Xbox, and a Nintendo Switch. He only wants to get one of those. And I'm back. So... You might not be able to see it that well, but I sat, set it up all under graph. But the spending amount that I'm able to spend is 67877 at the bottom, as you can see. Then, for I did the gaming PC, I, did, I decided I would start off with two. But, I, so I did 33500 33, plus 33500 I got 67000 Okay, and that's before tax. And tax for two things will be twenty. So I added twenty dollars, it will give me sixty seven thousand twenty dollars. So then I can get two gaming PCs without still without going over. So then for the Nintendo Switch, I said he can only get one Nintendo Switch, because if you add two those prices together, you get one thousand and six 
106,974. And that is way over budget, so we can't get two. So I just stuck with the one Nintendo Switch 53,487. And then I added $8.57 in tax, which got me 54,344. That doesn't sound right to me. But, and that would be. For fifty four thousand three hundred forty four, adding with tax, so we only get one Nintendo Switch, but he will have leftover money. So he, at the end, he just gets another. I don't know, like if there's seven thousand. Sorry if I confuse you with my math. This is just how I do it in my head. <laughs> So he has a net another thirteen thousand to add to that five thousand. That'll give him an eighteen thousand dollars to do his room. And by the way, these numbers are not realistic because there's no way he could have got like thirty seven thousand dollars for his birthday or whatever. There's no way. And then for the Xbox, I decided to do two because it sounded like a low number. Like 33. So I did 27,371 plus 27,371, which got 54,742 under budget still. And then I added the $15 tax because 730 is the tax for one. And the 730 plus 730, $7.37.30, if you don't know what I mean by 730 will give you $15. So then, with $15, I add $15, which got me 56242 I'm still under, but I don't think I can add a third one there. So, and he can either have two Xboxes, a Nintendo Switch, or two gaming PCs. And he's not greedy, so if he gets two gaming PCs. He'll probably give one to his friend, Colin or something, like, I don't know. Never know. Now, for our last few, like, minutes or so, I'm gonna put up a bunch of practice problems, and then, well, first of all, I we wanna see how much he has left over, actually. So let's do the subtraction. So, uh, which one should we do? Since we have three different ones, should we? Do, I think I'm gonna go with the highest priced one. Eh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the highest price. So I'm not gonna worry about the Xbox or gaming PCs right now. But you guys can do that. You guys can always do that one, or you can do the Xbox. I don't care just for my instance right now. I'm going to show you how to do the gaming PC since it's very close to the, his budget. So, yeah. So, I've rewrote it on this board. It's 67877 which is budget. And then for the two gaming PCs, it was 67020 So, now we're going to do a regular subtraction algorithm to solve this. If you want to solve this on your own, Solve it. If you want to solve the Nintendo Switch thing, solve it. If you want to solve the Xbox, solve it. I'm just solving a uh, gaming PC in this video. And maybe I'll add another short video or something to go along with this. Or how to do the other ones. But I think since we've done a lot of practice already, and then I'm going to give you more practice after this, I think you should be able to do those too. Because those are easy. I already solved them off camera. So now I'm going to minus 0 from 7 is 7. Minus 2 from 7, 5. Minus 0 from 8, 8. Minus 7 from 7, 0. Minus 6 from 6, 0. So then really you don't even have to have that. So that means he was $857 under budget. So that means he's going to have 5,000, sorry, 
$5,857 to redo his room. And yeah, so that's that problem. And now I'm going to write a bunch of problems, put them up on the board, and I'm going to have you solve them, and I'm going to put the answers to the problem in the description. And yeah, so I'll come back when I have all those problems up. I will also give you some easy ones on this, because I know you just started, but we've been doing bigger numbers. So there are going to be some bigger numbers, but they're at the same time, I'm going to give you like, 2,000 plus 5,000. You should be able to do that in your head. But if you have trouble, I'll just check out a link down below. Maybe they'll explain it more. I don't know. But, yeah. We'll be back when I finish the problems. Currently, I have two problems done. And I'm working on the third. And I'm doing four problems. And there's going to be an add and subtract pro add problem. Or addition problem. Like for instance, 758 plus 773. It's going to be 758 minus 738. Or whatever. For, so you have a total of eight problems. Once you know one of the problems, you should be able to finish the rest. But I'll be back soon. So I'm back. You might not be able to see those as well as the other ones because it's smaller. So I'll read them louder out to you. I'll read them and I'll put them in order. Like I'll put the, actually I'll write number one. And I'll put the answer to it. So make sure to label these by number. And they're going to be number like the first problem for addition. It's the same problem on the bottom, bottom but subtraction. But I'm counting that as a different number. So this one is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. This is seven. This is eight. So just so you know when I do the thing. So it would be 757 plus 753. And then for this next one, it's 3,457 plus 755 and then over here is a slightly harder one is 45,300 plus 73,500 and then over here is 53,000 plus 7,000 and then the bottom is 757 minus 753 and then the next one here is 3,457 minus 755 and then this one here is 45,300 minus 73,500 and then the last one is 53,000 minus 7,000. I'll repeat those one more time so you can get those down and then I'll probably see you guys in the next video. We're planning on doing maybe a multiplication algorithm. I may have Colin do that one that video but who knows? I'll just read these again, and yeah. So the first one is 757 plus 753. And then the next one is 3,457 plus 755. And the next one is 45,300 plus 73,500. And then this one is 53,700. 7,000, sorry, not 700, 7,000. And on the bottom, on the subtraction side, it's 757 minus 753. And then the next one is 3,457 minus 755. And the next one is 45,300 minus 73,500. And then the last one is 53,000 minus 7,000. Okay, I'll put the answers in the description. Hope to see you guys next time. And yeah, like I said, we're going to have probably a multiplication algorithm coming out. And then maybe an algebra. We might just go back to simple add and subtract. But yeah, you never know. 
here in the problem. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys maybe next time. I don't know. Colin probably will be posting our next video, but yeah. See you guys next time on Lucas and Colin Productions. Bye. And please subscribe to Lucas and Colin Productions and give us a big thumbs up and share your videos. We want to hear from you. Just share those videos. We don't care what it is. Share that video.